it was it was hard work. I mean, I knew with that to beat Hinch today, I, I had to do 40 perfect laps, and that's what I was focusing on. I uh, I nearly threw it away on lap two going into to turn four. I decided to break myself, and uh, very very nearly nearly came unstuck there. After that, I started to settle down and just got into a rhythm. I mean, the whole time I was just pushing, but not too hard. I wanted to keep the tires under me. I knew the the Firestone and Firehawks would last the whole race, but I had to make sure that I looked after them, and, and they did just that. Towards the end of the race, I tried to put a few quick laps in, and I gap, gapped him a little bit, I got away. But then he was very fast coming back, and he was just right there matching me lap for lap. And I knew those last six laps would have been horrible, but thankfully he made a mistake, and after that, I was just cruising home. I just wanted to finish. There was, I don't know, I just lost the words. You know, I, I, wish it was, I wish I could say it was fun out there, but from lap one, I just wanted to see the checkered flag. My first big win since September of 04, and that was that was a big win back then for me at the age of 16 in go-karts. I, uh, I won the Asia Pacific World Cup in go-karts in Suzuka, and then since then, for whatever reason, just wrong place, wrong time, we've never been in the situation to win, but this year, I have to give a lot of credit to uh, Gary Pierce and Michael and, and the guys for, for seeing potential in me and knowing that I could do it, and then they gave me the opportunity to drive for their racing team, and, and I'm just really proud to say that I can pay them back now.